What is going on then guys, it's me Randall4865 coming at you today with a 4 step tutorial on how to add your very own custom server traders in a Armour 2 Epoch server. Now this is very easy to do, the um, reason for this video is everywhere I looked um, there was no video tutorials on this and some, some tutorials that were written up were quite hard to follow. Um, and some just didn't work at all, but I'm going to guarantee you that this works 100% and I'm going to make it as easy as possible. So, step one, you're going to need to go ahead, download PBO Manager and something along the lines of FileZilla. You don't need FileZilla, but it just makes it easier transferring all files to and from a server. Um, so once you're, going to get, go, go, once you're going to head and got them, then we can carry on with step one. So the first uh, start, step one, is you want to go ahead and open up FileZilla. You then want to log into your server with your host, which will be your server IP, your username, which would be to log into your control panel, and your password. You, you really don't need to use the port at all, you just need that IP there. Um, so once you're there, you should have one or two folders. One will be your BattleEye folder, if you have BattleEye installed on your server. And the other one will be your actual server file itself. Uh, so this is my server file here, and we're going to navigate straight to the at Daisy epoch or at Daisy underscore epoch underscore server. And then we're going to go add-ons, and we just want to get the Daisy server dot pbo, and we're going to drag that over to our desktop. Just while we wait for this to transfer across. There we go, that took, that took some time for some weird reason, so there's file number one, which is our daisy server file, which is good. Um, next we want to back out of this, and we want to make our way down to the MP missions folder. And we want to go daisy underscore epoch underscore 11 dot because that is the map we're using. If you're using any other map, then you would obviously choose your map from the list. Uh, but as I say, we are using the epoch. And then we want to go all the way down till we find server underscore traders dot sqf. Now we want to do the same to that, which we want to drag this over, which that was done a lot quicker. So now we can go ahead and we can just minimize FileZilla. Always important, back up your server files before you go ahead and make any changes. So we're just going to copy them and we're just going to paste them over here in this folder. Uh, which you guys won't be able to see, but it does exist, it is there, and I'm just going to move that whole entire folder across that side as well. Um, so, to start off, you need to right click on your daisy underscore server, you need to go to PBO manager, and you want to extract to daisy underscore server, and that will make it into a little folder like this. Now you can completely delete that PBO file. Okay, so now we're going to move on to step two. Now step two, once you've extracted the uh, PBO, you will add this folder obviously, like I've already said. Uh, what you want to then do is you want to go into this folder, you then want to go to missions, and then you want to select your mission file. So mine is the daisy underscore epoch underscore 11 dot chanaris. It's not going to change from what we just went to in MP missions. Uh, so whatever mission you're using, you will select. And then you're going to come across these two files here, dynamic underscore vehicle and mission. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up the mission.sqf with notepad++ and then we're going to search. Now what we're going to search for is underscore unit underscore and that will take us, make sure the direction is up so that way you can find your very last uh, unit which mine's here which is unit 897. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to delete and make some space for the new one. Now in the description below you will find this whole entire line, this whole entire function that we're just about to put in, um, which is all of this here, including this bottom line and all the way along. Um, as you can see it is exactly the same number as that one, but we're going to ignore that. What you need to do is you want to change this to any number that you want. You can use this first number, but I can't because I've already got it here and it's going to suck. So we're going to use 898 as our unit number. Really important 
that you come down here and you want to go ahead and change that to exactly the same as this number here it's, it's all in the same line um, you just need to make sure both units say 898 or both say 897 whatever number you choose but they can't match any other number throughout this list um, or it will not work now you need to have your coordinates of where you want your worker to be now as you can see on the map here I already have mine, we're going to choose mine just across the bridge from the Pobeda. I don't know how you pronounce that and I, don't, I quite frankly don't care how you pronounce that. But yeah, so it's just on the tip of the bridge um, and as you see our coordinates are there. If you use Infostar, you can get your coordinates that way. I'm not going to show you guys how to get coordinates as you should already know how to do it anyway. Um, so once you've got your coordinates, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and copy them where it says coordinates. So we're going to paste them there. Now also you want to get the direction of your the way that you want the player to be facing. Um, mine's facing down the bridge so he's looking down this way. Uh, so my direction is already there which we do already have written down also. Um, because I'm always one step ahead of this. Like I say you guys should know how to do this already. Um, it doesn't take a genius to work this one out. And there we go. So now that is part one. So what you can go ahead and do. You can hit save on that. So you can then close this close that and now what we want to do is we want to right click on the daisy underscore server folder we want to go back to pbo manager and we want to pack server to pbo and now that would give us the fresh new pbo file we need to put back in um, shortly so next step is you want to go to your server underscore traders you want to go ahead and open it up with notepad plus plus you then want to come all the way down to the very bottom and you just want to make a space now also in the description you're going to find this little text note so we're going to go ahead and paste this in right here make sure you get everything there so it's all of that together including this last little bit or this will not work the trader will not spawn um, and yeah it's going to suck so what we're going to do is we're going to give it a trader name so what should we call it YouTube tutorial I don't know why it's just the easiest option um, now this way it says items you can name this to what is actually going to be sold there so if it's going to be guns you'll name it guns ammo I don't know whatever you want to do we're just going to do test and here in TID you want to assign it a specific number now we use the number 898 so that is the number we are going to be using as it doesn't match anything else in my server database uh, like I say you guys might have something there but I don't so therefore I can use it and uh, all will be well now here is whether it be neutral friendly hero bandit I don't know um, so that all goes off your humanity we're just gonna keep it neutral I want you guys to see that this does work straight away and not have to worry about giving myself humanity and uh, that's pretty much it so you can change the um, the worker type. Uh, you do have only a selected few, which you can find at the top of your list. Um, you can pretty much select any one of these workers uh, like as your placements. But we're just going to keep it as the worker two, as I don't need to change it. Um, if you guys get lost on how to change it, how to change the worker, then just let me know and I'll tell you how to do it. I'm not going to cover that on this part because we're pretty much done so we're going to hit save there also so step three now step three requires you to sign in to your actual server database folder uh, my passwords already there we just got to type in this stupid little picture thing uh, we hit login just while we wait for this to log in I don't know why it's taking its time but there we go um, so we want to choose our daisy server which is here and then we want to come down here well first off before you do anything you always want to stop your server so we're just going to click stop I know there's people on there I haven't gave them the warning uh, but that doesn't matter they don't mind uh, because they understand um, but yeah so once you come to this screen anyway you're going to see like obviously where you can do all your mods your file managers things like that but we're going to concentrate on the PHP My Admin UK. And we're not US, we're UK, so we're going to click UK. 
and then it's gonna cover us up. It's probably gonna ask you to log in again. I've already been logged in because I'm always one step ahead, like I say. And uh, you wanna come over here to where it says either your name or the server, whatever it says there, that's what you wanna go to. We then wanna go to server traders over here in the left. We're gonna come all the way down and we're gonna click this double arrow to go to the very last page. Now, always the last number is so important. Ours is 897, so we're going to use 898 again. We could have used 877. Uh, I can't do maths, sorry. Um, <laughs> but let's just carry on anyway. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to come up here, and we're going to click Insert. Now for the ID, we're going to do 898. Here, it's going to be Worker2. Sorry about that. The class name is Worker2. Instance is going to be your servant, like server mission number which ours was in the uh, instant 11 Chinaris so we're gonna go for 11 status uh, we need to put any neutral because that's what we want him to be static you don't really need to give him any static items just to do straight up trades like whiskey bottles for instance and things like that um, and down here for description we're just gonna type in YouTube tutorial now we're gonna hit go ahead and click go so now that whole new server trader is in the database so if we come down here and go to the very last page there we go you can see it 898 worker 2 neutral youtube tutorial now we want to give them something to sell real quick so we're going to go ahead and go to trader uh, trader data traders data should i say and we're going to find the very last number just for a test so 9074 we're going to click insert and then we're going to 9074 now We'll put, should we just put a BRDM2? Let's put a BTR60 in. Quantity is going to be 999. Uh, we're going to go to 12 briefcases. Sell it for 4. Uh, TID, that is going to be the 898 that I told you to put. Um, or whatever number you chose to put there is the TID. And then we want to leave, we're going to change this to trade underscore any underscore vehicle. And then we just want to hit go. And now that item is now in the trader. So there we go, as you can see. Now, step four. Step four is to finally put all the files back where they belong. So this is very simple to do. We're going to go ahead and go back to our FileZilla. Now we need to refresh this because it did log us out. We was going to wait for quite some time. And um, we're just going to wait for this to reconnect. There we go. So we're going to navigate back to the very start, which is here. So we're going to put a PBO file back first. So we're going to go at daisy underscore epoch underscore server. Back to add-ons. We're going to go ahead and delete that PBO. And not copy both of them. I don't know why on earth it was trying to copy both, but we only want one. And that is now done. So that is file number one. We're then going to back out of that. We're going to come all the way back down to multiplayer missions. And we're going to go back to Daisy Epoch 11 Chinavis. And then we're going to go ahead and delete the server underscore trader, traders. And put in the new file which is now there also. So that is pretty much straightforward. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you that it is there. Remember we put the BTR60 in for 12 briefcases. Sales for 4. So we're going to go ahead and go into Armour 2. First off always important. Restart your server. Always click start again. Never, don't do the mistake and then think we're wanting the server coming up. Make sure you've always done that. And we're just going to quickly wait here for the server to appear. Now you can currently see where the trader is going to be standing, which is where the background picture is. Um, the server should be coming up any second now. There it is. And we're going to go in. We're going to load in. Server's still running fine, as you can see we've hit back to playlist, we're going to load up the mission file, we do have a big mission file, so if you guys do want to come check out the server then make sure you do. I will put the server IP and port number in the description below, and yeah, we hope to see you guys on here very soon. Right, so there we go, we are done, uh, we're just going to click continue, we're going to load in, slowly but surely we're going to get there. Servers always take time when they first start up due to mission briefing and things like that. So I apologize for the wait you guys are going to have to go through right now. Uh, you can just skip the video ahead a little as you're not going to miss absolutely anything important from here on out. We're now just showing that the trader does work.
Now, as you can see, I did just skip all the way forward until we got in. Uh, so let's just slow down. You can now see there's two people here. There is one trader. And we can, in fact, access his menu. So let's go to trader menu. There we go. We've got a test menu, BTR60, 12 briefcases, and sales for four. So guys, if you did enjoy that tutorial, and if you did find it a lot easier to understand, then make sure you hit that thumbs up, make sure you hit that subscribe. Also, come check out our server. Uh, the IP is in the description below. Other than that, I'll see you guys real soon. Peace out.